love rock and roll, but it's fair to say our next star changed rock and roll forever and changed himself in the process. He's had many different faces. Now here comes another one. Star guest number two. My name is Tony Perry and I come from Benfleet in Essex. I live with my wife Tanya and my two boys, Harry and Stefan. I had my own business for about 12 years and I gave that up when both the boys were born. My wife's a teacher and we decided that she had the most secure of the two jobs. So I stayed at home and she went to work. And I've been doing that now for six years, seven years. And it's hard. And I really didn't know what hit me. Washing, cooking, cleaning, picking the children up from school, hoovering, washing the dog. How are you doing? Initially, when they went to toddler group, I was the only dad ever invited to the coffee mornings. Yeah, good. Mum, how, how I've got tea. Garlic. Chicken in French country sauce. I couldn't quite believe it when I got on the show. I know everybody says that, but it's true. If you can't stand the kitchen, get into the heat. And here to do it is Tony Perry. <laughs> I know, we all know it can't be easy to be a house husband, but I know for you there was a defining moment when you realised you'd made it. I think, the, I think it finally hit home when I found myself sewing up a peg bag and enjoying it. <laughs> <laughs> I can understand. It was a floral one, isn't it? <laughs> a floral, floral one. peg bag. Lovely. Yeah. Being a house husband, I know it takes up a lot of time, but does it give you enough time to look after your personal appearance? <laughs> I get a lot of stick about my hair because I do t tend to spend a lot of time looking after it. What's the worst thing you've ever done? Probably the worst thing I've ever done, my wife went into labour with our first little boy uh, and I had a shower when the labour started. My hair was wet and I had to dry it before we went to the hospital. <laughs> These things are important. <laughs> you could have caught a cold. That's right, you? yeah. Oh, cool cold, yeah. So well, what about the person that you're going to be tonight? What kind of hair does he have? Well, the reason I chose the person I'm going to be tonight is because he's got a... a Smashing ear cut. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me a bit more about this person. Uh, the person I'm going to be tonight, uh, he changed his surname very early on in his career because it was the same as one of the monkeys. Right. Uh, he won an Outstanding Achievement Award in 1996 for his contribution to music and he recently became a dad again at 53. Tell us who you're going to be tonight, Tony. Tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be David Bowie. David Bowie! <laughs> Major Tom comes back to earth as tonight. Singing live, Tony Perry is David Bowie! I'm stuck with a valuable friend I 
You are going to be invited out to so many coffee mornings with the girls after this. <laughs> I'm telling you. Are you happy with the hairdo? That's excellent. It yeah. is. It's I'm not good. Gonna, I'm not going to wash it for a month. Yeah. <laughs> no, smashing hairdo, but a smashing voice as well. I tell you, only a lifelong admirer of that man could have come up with a performance like that. Thank it you. was sensational. Thank you. And you enjoyed it too, I did. You? It was very good. Yeah, good I really man. enjoyed it. Ladies and gentlemen, Tony Perry as David Bowie. <laughs> Before the break, I'm going to be... Well, we've seen all five star guests, but before our studio audience propel one into the live grand final, let's just see how they rocked our world tonight. First, Rachel Scott flew high as Joan Jett. Tony Perry fell to earth as David Bowie. We know Major Tom's a junkie. Mark Taylor really was a miracle as Smokey Robinson. Donna Atkinson, by any other name, was Lynn Anderson. And Barry Sellers was king of the fretboard, Eric Clapton. You are wonderful tonight. Studio audience, cast your votes now. Will it be Joan Jett? David Bowie, Smokey Robinson, Lynn Anderson, or Eric Clapton. And the winner is David Bowie! Is it scary or is it just a nightmare to walk in the stillies? Well, it's, yeah, it's very hard to walk in the stillies, but yeah, I can't believe this. It's unbelievable. Yeah, no, not unbelievable I'm at staggered. all. No, no, well, I'm telling you, we talked about the attention to detail about the way you look, but <laughs> honestly, if we put you in a sack, we'd have known who that was that you were doing. Absolutely marvellous. I'll tell you something else. It's one thing to be proud of making a peg bag. <laughs> but... <laughs> peg bag. <laughs> does this beat a peg bag, I'm wondering? Uh, yeah, I think it does, yeah. It probably does, big uh, time, yeah. Absolutely deserved it. And they were such a great bunch tonight as well. Yeah, excellent. Yeah. Excellent. They, the audience had such a hard job. And once again, five fantastic voices grace the stage, but only one can grace it again in the live grand final. So Tony joins our very first winner from last week. Seven days ago, sales administrator Deborah Lee Burns sold herself perfectly as disco diva Gloria Gaynor. Thanks to all our star guests, thanks to our studio audience for making that difficult decision. But most of all, thanks to Tony Perry as David Bowie. Good night. Well done. Girls in synthesis and I, I 
If you've got the voice, we've got the stage. For details on how you could be walking through those famous doors on the next series of Stars in Their Eyes, phone 0870 400 4000 for an application form. And coming up next tonight, Bruce Willis and Alan Rickman star in the action thriller movie, Die Hard. Oh no, not again. I'm